I'd like to welcome y'all to Q City World. And today we'll be talking about Floyd Mayweather schooling on the Checo. I mean, Floyd Mayweather, he explains why he say, you know what I mean, you need to go ahead and fight Mikey Garcia, man. Quit thinking about Tank Davis. Basically, he's saying Tank ain't nothing but 22 or just turned 23 years old. You know, Tank been fighting top notch competition. You know, but he's an up and coming fighter. Mama Checo is older. You know what I mean? Mama Checo is moving way faster. Tank is moving right now, you know? So, you we're know, really trying to make that fight right now. He said Tank is asking to make the fight. Floyd, like, no, it's not time yet. So, you can say Floyd's good to make the fight. You can say he's bringing this fighter up right. Because fighters like Adrian Bronner, they got rushed. And look what happened to them. You can't carry your, your fighter out by putting him up in a big fight at an early age against somebody who's more experienced, more mentally ready. So, you know, let Tank come up the way he's gonna come up. But he basically saying like, look Tank, look, like, no more. You can't get no good fights at 130. You know what I mean? You might have to move to 135, get the, some competition at 135. You know what I mean? That's what, that's what I had to do. I couldn't get no competition in no weight class, I just moved right on up. He said, you know, Bob Earl, you know, been getting over on fighters for 40 years. He said, you only got paid 1.2 million. Ricky Dow got paid 400,000. You know what I mean? He said, so Bob Earl paid out 1.6 million. He said, I got fighters that fight for me that make that much money. You supposed to be pound, pound number one. You supposed to be pound pound number one. You only making 1.2 million? He said, man, Bob M been getting over on fighters for 40 years. So basically, Mayweather want to promote Lumacheco at the end of the day. And I don't think nobody really caught it, man. He called top rank. He said bottom rank. That nigga said bottom rank promotions. You know what I mean? That man was dogging Bob Arum out. But uh, I was reading an article where it was saying that um, Bob Arum is going to make two pay-per-view fights in 2018 with Lumacheco and Terrence Crawford, it looked like, you know what I mean? So, it looked like the Mikey Garcia versus Lumacheco fight will happen. And it looked like T Terrence Crawford versus uh, either Manny Pacquiao or Terrence Crawford versus Al Hammond fight will have to happen in 2018. So we can look forward to that, being that Bob Irwin is going to do them numbers for ESPN, then with the NFL. NBA, NASCAR, NCAA, all kind of shit going on on ESPN. So if you're going to rock with them, you got to rock with them. You know what I mean? So Bob Earl showing that he can rock. You know what I mean? And, um, I think it's going to be, you know, you know, and, and another thing, everybody be talking about Terrence Crawford undisputed this year. Yeah, he undisputed this year, but you got to get props to Bob Earl. And make it, being able to make a make a way where he can go undisputed. I mean, because at the end of the day, these other fighters, you know, they can't go undisputed. You know what I mean? These other weight classes, they can't make the fight. These mandatories popping up and all kind of shit happening. So, you know what I mean? But Bob M put Terrence Crawford in position to go undisputed. But at the end of the day, Bob M ain't got many fighters that got big names yet. I mean. He got Shakur Stevenson and a couple other young fighters, but at the end of the day, they looking like bottom rank promotions. You know what I mean? They hyping up Lomachenko, and they, uh, you know, they they're not hyping up. Well, they really ain't hyping Lomachenko because they ain't putting up no money into a press conference. He ain't really promote the Lomachenko versus Rigadal fight. So you know, Bob is just getting all he can get. You feel me? So Floyd, like, bro, you know. These promoters been robbing for years. He said, ever since I left top rank, I've been getting money. You can stay there all you want. But you know, ever since I left, I've been getting major money. At the end of the day, that's how I see it. And sometimes I be thinking like, that boy, Oscar De La Hoya probably told Kodo he gotta lose that last fight because he ain't got no fighters. So he needs somebody to, you know what I mean, reign champion. After Cotto leave, you know what I mean? So Cotto, you can't retire by beating one of my fighters, man. You gonna have to, you know what I mean? Take it light on Saddam. I need, I need a champion. You know what I mean? If you retire by beating Saddam Ali, I have nobody to lean on. You know what I mean? It's a loss, and all I have is Canelo. 
So I don't even believe Cotto. I think Cotto might have threw that Saddam Ali fight, man. But yeah. But like, thank you guys for coming to Q City, bro. Peace. Uh, what, then I'm gonna show you what these guys should be.